Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Erika Kvalem, and uh, I will be uh, showing this uh, tutorial how to install Phoenix, the Phoenix project, uh, using Anaconda in a uh, Mac terminal. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is to go to the main page of the Phoenix project. You see here. Uh, I will be putting all the links in the description and in case uh, you wanna you wanna check this uh, so uh, we are in 2020 so this is the version we are dealing with and uh, first of all we're gonna go to download tag and uh, go to Phoenix on Anaconda so if you see here uh, there are instructions for Conda or for Phoenix installing in uh, Linux and Mac. So these uh, two lines here, and for uh, using Microsoft, then you have to use these two lines down there. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna focus on on installing uh, Phoenix in uh, in Mac. So the th the first thing we're gonna do. Let's go to the Anaconda web page that is uh, this one right here anaconda.com and uh, we are gonna go to uh, products individual edition uh, therefore uh, after this we're gonna go to download and you're gonna see here uh, you have the three different options uh, I have downloaded the 64-bit graphical installer. Uh, once you're done with the installation, it, go, it will go like this. Uh, I'm gonna cancel it because I have already installed Anaconda and I don't want... So once it's installed, uh, you will have something like this. And this, we're gonna leave it like that. Okay. Uh, I have it open while I am working with the terminal so I think that might be uh, uh, also crucial maybe I haven't tried to to install it uh, while not having it open but I don't know maybe someone with more knowledge than me can tell uh, so uh, after this we're gonna follow the instructions here so you just put conda uh, on the create create well I'm gonna copy it better da, da, da. okay so I have opened my my bar my terminal here uh, you can just go to the launchpad and write terminal and it will open. Uh, so, if you do this, then uh, I'm I'm uh, I am asking it to create uh, the environment again. So it will remove my existing one. So I'm gonna say yes. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Okay. So the thing we see here is that uh, the the first package that it tries to install it might fail. Um, you see here, fail with repo data from current repo data, data will retry with next repo data source. So that the, the second one is the one that uh, it should work. So we should wait a, a, a few minutes and. Uh, it will say solving environment, yeah, and then it will show all the packages that uh, installed. Let's wait. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Come on. <laughs> Hmm, it might take a bit longer. Uh, 
no, there you go. Okay, so here we see all the packages that has installed, blah, blah, blah Phoenix, and, and all those. Okay, that's nice. Then we say yes to proceed, preparing transaction, verifying, and it's gonna be done. Okay, it's about to finish. Okay, so now the Phoenix project is installed and it's, a, uh, it's telling you how to activate it. So every time you want to activate it, there and then you go Conda Activate Phoenix Project, you see here. Okay, and you can deactivate Conda, deactivate and that's it. So now we go source, source activate Phoenix Pro project as it says here, so this line, the second line, this one. Um, so we run it, Phoenix Project, so it's activate, yeah, there you go. Uh, so we are now inside Phoenix Project, and to run, to see if it's running, then we go to this uh, repository. Uh, it, it, it is uh, important to pay attention, that is the updated one, so 1.30. Uh, and and we go to Poisson's equation here. So okay, uh, da, 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 demo Poisson dot pi. Okay, I have it already downloaded, uh, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, keep. I'm gonna change the name of this file. Rename. Okay. Da, da, da. I'm gonna say dos because I have already uh, a one version. Okay. Uh, so I am I am saying that it's important to to keep in mind that the dolphin demos are some that are old fa uh, old fashioned. Let's say that they are not up to date, so they might fa um, fail because they will show an error saying that uh, you need to add the degree or something. Uh, that error, uh, you can fix it by just uh, editing the file itself and adding the degree you want to add of the polynomial uh, inside, the, inside the text of the py, uh, .py uh, file. But um, it's much easier to just go to the updated repository of uh, of uh, yeah of equations and download the updated version and it should it should uh, run. So let's try. Let's see. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, first, I have to go into downloads. Download. Downloads. That's where I have my file that I have just downloaded. And I'm gonna write Python demo, okay? Dos. Okay, so now, okay, we're gonna run it and it's just solving it because uh, we are using the uh, updated uh, repository of, of uh, equations. The thing is, uh, now it's saying that matplotlib is not uh, installed, so we're gonna install it. You hear, you have here the command pip install matplotlib. Matplot we're gonna copy it and install it. There you go. Okay, so ins installing it. Go back to the Poisson. Perfect. Now we can run again the command of the Poisson demo. And it's gonna show us this wonderful and brilliant and <laughs> uh, colorful graph showing uh, the 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 uh, the Poisson equation solved. So um, this is everything for the tutorial, and I hope it was useful and 
and uh, if you have any comment and uh, and you 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 want to help me uh, to better uh, to better contribution to the community then uh, please comment uh, on the video and uh, we'll we'll have a discussion on whatever uh, you think is uh, a good feedback <laughs> waiting for for your comments and, and feedback yeah so thank you very much for watching i hope it was useful and and, and uh, i'm seeing you in the next video have a good